200 QX. I wound up uh, going uh, FPV. I purchased the uh, Fat Shark Attitude, and uh, I wound up putting in the 600 TVL um, board for the transmitter, and I wound up purchasing the Immersion's 5.8 uh, spiral net antennas. I was going to get the, the Cloverleaf ones, uh, the IBC Blue, I believe they were, but when I went to uh, get FPV here in Sarasota, they didn't have any. They were all out of stock, so this was a little step underneath uh, from what I needed, so I wound up going with that versus using the stock antennas. So, I'm just going to give you a little close-up on what I did. On the battery door, um, I put the the balancer uh, connector right on the battery door. I can take off the battery door, install my uh, battery without any issues and have them coming out through the holes, take my uh, balance plug and plug it into the two cell port. And what I wound up doing here is I use some, uh, some foam. Uh, it was in one of my uh, RC uh, grab bag of uh, parts that I have and wound up taking the box out and there was some foam so I just pretty much just cut it up and made a little pocket inside zip tied it around zip tied it around the landing gear just to keep it in place and the same thing with the wiring uh, the little mount I made here uh, this is just temporary I'm going to uh, have somebody uh, wind up doing one for me out of uh, with a 3d printer uh, right now I just have it adhesive down there with two-sided adhesive and a little bit of uh, hot glue on either side and I just took notice because I crashed again today and you could see I have the same issue of that crack but I've been gluing it over and over and over so I did purchase a new frame uh, I would have to say I'm probably about uh, maybe 10 12 uh, yeah, probably 10 to 12 flights so far I'm starting to get used to it uh, it's I, I went up a little bit too high today uh, probably was up maybe 60 60 feet and I should have probably took off the goggles but I tried to get out of it and uh, wound up coming down so came down upside down cracked the arm in the same place once again but uh, nothing that CA glue and some kicker can't fix uh, still hasn't sheared off totally yet this will be the third time I repaired that arm but once I learn it I'm gonna take all of this off of here and uh, put it on my blade 350 QX but I'm using this as a, a learning platform and uh, I don't know I might get a racer one to down the road build one uh, something a little more uh, durable uh, this frame here isn't really as durable as I would like it to be for FPV and uh, the weight of this uh, I don't have a scale so I can't really scale this up for you as far as how much weight I have on it uh, I don't know what the blade is capable of uh, max lift, but it does hold its own the way I have it right now. I did use um, some plexiglass as the bottom base, but using the foam, I knocked off quite a bit of grams of weight. So that's why I went with that method. So other than that, that's pretty much about it. I'm having fun. I'm enjoying this uh, experience doing FPV. Uh, it's a rush I'm telling you so I think once uh, the cooler weather gets here you know here in Florida it's uh, blazing hot outside and uh, but I'm, I'm enjoying every minute of it I really haven't flown it without doing FPV yet so since I got the system and um, if you could put down some comments and some uh, some feedback it'd be great uh, I'd like to know what kind of antennas that you guys are using if this is something that I should stick with or maybe uh, do an upgrade of antenna I know a lot of people have said I should upgrade the camera because this is the stock camera which is the 600 um, camera the S CMOS I believe it is so I don't know if you can give me any insight I don't know what's out there because I'm still new to all this FPV and so thank you very much for taking the time and hey keep it in the sky and fly it like you stole it